chicken parmigiana is a traditional Italian dish. It's hearty and delicious and everyone loves it. I'm Sugar from Cooking with Sugar TV and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make this amazing meal. The secret to a perfect chicken parmesan is making the chicken moist and delicious and having a beautiful homemade red sauce. I've showed you in my chicken piccata video that you want to slice the chicken horizontally, pound it thin between two pieces of parchment paper, and this is going to make sure that it's really tender when you fry it. As far as the sauce goes, you're going to want to use a homemade sauce, and I showed you that in last week's video. So make sure you click here for the sauce recipe. The ingredients you're going to need to make this chicken parmesan are your chicken breast, salt and pepper, grated parmesan cheese, eggs, milk, basil is optional, breadcrumbs, shredded mozzarella cheese, oil for frying, and some of my homemade red sauce. To get started, you're going to want to crack a couple of eggs in a bowl, mix those up with a little bit of milk. I just want to eyeball that. Add a little salt and pepper. I'm also going to salt and pepper my chicken breasts before I dip them and dredge them. Okay, so we're going to take a chicken breast, I'm going to dip it in our egg, and then into the breadcrumb. Now you're going to want to just give it a light coating and then onto a clean plate. I'm just going to be making a small tray to show you how to put this together, but I'm actually making a huge platter. I'm actually making two platters for a big party I'm having this afternoon. But I want to just show you how simple this is to put together. So I poured some vegetable oil in my frying pan and I'm getting ready to fry the chicken. I just heated up the oil and I'm just going to check it. I take a little piece of the breadcrumb and I just stick it in there. If I see a bubble like that, I know it's almost ready. So now I'm gonna add my chicken to the pan. Oh, that looks good. I'm just gonna do a couple pieces at a time. Once they're browning for a minute or two, you can check to see if they're brown on one side and give them a flip. Those look great. So these are ready to come out, and I don't wanna cook them completely because they're gonna bake in the oven. So I'm really just browning them so they get crispy and they'll stay juicy. After the chicken's browned, I place it on a plate with some paper towels just to drain them. So to assemble this to put it in the oven, you're going to want to start by putting your sauce into your pan. Just put enough to coat the bottom of the pan. If you're making a large portion of this, you're going to want to do it in a big baking dish. Then you're going to get your chicken breasts place them into the pan and you really don't want them to overlap you want to kind of fit them snugly in there so that you can get the cheese on top and the sauce on top and these kind of fit perfectly then you're going to top them with more sauce and you don't want it to be swimming you just want to put a little bit on the top a little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese now this is going to get covered and baked like this without the mozzarella for about a half hour in a 350 degree oven. So the chicken's been cooking for about a half hour covered. Oh, and you can see how beautiful that looks already. Now it's ready for the cheese. And now I just like to add some of the mozzarella cheese. And I like to grate it myself. I don't like to buy it where it's already grated because it tends to be dry. I'm just gonna wanna put a little bit of cheese on top of each one. We'll do another little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. Put a little bit of fresh basil, and this is optional. I just think it looks pretty and gives just a little bit of flavor. Now this is gonna go back in the oven, uncovered, just till the cheese melts. And if you want, you could put it on under the broiler for a second to brown it. So this is ready to go. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Normally I would let this cool a minute, but I'm gonna just plate a little piece so that I can taste it. 
so let's see how it looks because the chicken should be really moist oh my gosh see how easy that is to cut look at that and then with that beautiful red sauce let's give it a taste it's still really hot It's so great. It's so tender, you could even just cut it with a fork. Chicken Parmesan is a favorite meal of my family's. We love to make it for parties. We're having a big celebration tonight, and it's perfect for when people are gathering. Um, it's elegant, but it's comforting. Kids love it, adults love it, and it's just a beautiful meal to serve for a party. And I guarantee if you're having a special party, everyone's going to go crazy over this. For more recipes like this, be sure to log on to my website at cookingwithsugar.com. Don't forget to subscribe and please be sure to share me with your friends. If there's anything else you'd like to see me cook, be sure to leave me a comment below because I love to read your comments. As you can see, chicken parm is a great meal to make for a party. The kids love it, everyone loves it. And we're already out of the first platter, so I gotta get another dish out there. Ma, there's another tray of chicken parm right behind you. The chicken parm is a hot seller. No, that's good. Is that good? No. Is that dumb? Love it.